Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Bova, and I serve as the Dean of the School of Business and Technology at Chipola College. Welcome to our weekly BizTech Talk. Today, I have Chase Roberts as our co-host. Welcome, Chase. Thank you. Glad to be here. We're excited to have Chase with us. Chase is a recent graduate of our bachelor's program. He majored in computer information systems. He's helping us with our National Science Foundation grant on advanced manufacturing. He's actually working on a certificate in network systems as well. So Chase is really involved, has great history with Chipola, and we'll get a chance to talk to him more as we uh, go through our, uh, our show today. Our, our focus today is on the opportunities we have on campus and on a company of choice. We'll kind of give you a little teaser with that Tesla, as we'll kind of, we'll get to and talk about Brad and some technologies that uh, maybe this uh, robot Brad has with Tesla. So we'll share that connection. This is an exciting time on campus. If you're thinking of a degree or courses to take, you know, we have areas that can fit your area of interest from accounting to business, to computers, to engineering, to management. And if you're unsure of what to focus on, uh, management may be a, a good way to focus or just the associate of arts and business to kind of get your feet wet to head out on that path of taking courses of kind of getting a foundation in your studies and then tying that into your workplace, whether that's at a hotel, at a restaurant, um, if you work at a farm, um, forestry, a local store, anything that uh, you have an interest in, an area of business and management can help you gain a greater skill set to succeed. Uh, so we're getting ready to start the new term uh, this coming Monday. Wow, where did the summer go? Yeah, it seems like it just flew by. It did. The summer was <laughs> quiet. We had many activities. We had some grant projects, um, and we have the new term starting. So. It's not too late to, uh, to get involved, even if the, the fall semester's on the way. We have a, the main term of the A term. We also have these smaller terms of B and C. So let us help you any way we can. So the topic, uh, we thought we would talk about Tesla, but battery technologies, kind of an interesting thing, Chase. Yeah. Um, yeah, the way Tesla just breached into a, a saturated market being one of the only American automobile manufacturers in a century. Um, they've made huge strides, uh, changing from, you know, traditional combustion engines to mainly electric cars. Uh, Elon Musk has been doing some pretty radical things with Tesla and his company, SpaceX. Um, yeah. It, so it's exciting. If you think about it, technology has been around for a while, batteries. And this is our, our friend Brad here. I almost dropped Brad. That'd have been awful. So Brad's not on right now, but Brad is an autonomous robot that we build out of Legos, and he runs on batteries. Uh, we won't show him now. He might, even though we're confident that Brad would maintain his space well, we wouldn't want to venture off this table. That, would, uh, that wouldn't help our show and our, our focus on, on batteries. But what's neat with Elon Musk is to take a creative and innovative approach to a really seminal, established, old-school industry like car manufacturing and to enter that with just a creative way of using batteries like we use in Brad here um, that, that's so creative I know there's a popular rest stop that everyone stops at around here called the busy B yeah. you know travel on I-10 have you noticed those charging stations there yeah it's pretty crazy um that's the main drawback with uh, why electric cars haven't completely overtaken the industry but companies like China they are actually pushing manufacturers to develop these electric car rest stops just to help push out the electric car movement. And so um, Elon Musk has had some people kind of resisting his success, saying you know, the traditional model is the right one, but bringing in that creativity, that innovation, really topics that we talk about in our classes here at Chipola of looking at a current business um, operating environment and how you could improve that or taking some creativity or innovation and finding ways to take it to the next level. So Elon Musk is a great example for that. I've never driven a Tesla car, but uh, that's a goal of mine. I mean, they're kind of expensive. Yeah. Though he is trying to make an affordable model right now, I think. Yeah, I think once they once the electric cars become more mainstream and they, they kind of have to because eventually, you know, traditional fuel's not gonna be an option. So once they become more mainstream, you know, more manufacturers, more competition, that's, that's where price decreases mainly come down in. Right, and then he's getting um, more venture capital into improving the battery so they can run longer 
it's less of a footprint on the environment. So it's a win-win for the customer, for the business Tesla, and then just for others, the environment, for stakeholders, for those who would live around or work in an environment where they would operate. Uh, would, that, it's fascinating to think of how technology can, um, can solve a business problem. And you mentioned SpaceX. I don't know if it was him, but I think it might have been he challenged Boeing to who could get to Mars first. So just the audacity, right? The <laughs> confidence that an entrepreneur can have when yeah. he knows he has the right technology behind him. So we have some exciting things that we're working on in the School of Business and Technology. Batteries is just one component. It's neat to think of uh, how that's being applied into the competitive marketplace like Tesla using batteries at the large scale. Uh, Dr. Clemens has a great, um, a great focus for us this year of not just surviving but thriving and we hope that we're modeling that in the School of Business and Technology. I know Chase and I are working on some fun things with advanced manufacturing and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.